Oh, John and I know each other. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Much easier. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me call this meeting to order. This is the <coughs> June meeting for the Valley of County Zoning Board of Appeals. I apologize, I was running late. I had a situation develop that took me a few more minutes than I anticipated. Uh, for those of you that have never been here, let me explain how we operate so you can keep up with us. I will call each case by case name and case number. Staff will come to the podium, uh, lectern, I'm sorry, lectern, and give us the request as it has been presented. We have it in print, but they will give it to us verbally. Once they have presented it, we may have questions or discussions among the board members to staff. Once we've decided we understand what is being requested, then I will ask if there are any persons here on the applicant side or the applicant and would you like to come to the lectern and give us any additional information if you do please come to the lectern give us your name and address for the record give us the information you wish for us to take under advice once you have presented the information you feel like is pertinent there will probably be discussions questions among the board members once we have decided we have heard and understand the situation and I will ask if there are any persons here in opposition or if there are any persons here that have questions about what is being requested. Once we have heard from both sides, then we will attempt to render a decision here today, which is normally the process. However, it is in the bylaws that if we feel like parties need to discuss items on the agenda or items need clarification, we can postpone until the next regularly scheduled meeting. Uh, if you have not signed in in the back, please sign in on the table so we'll have a record of your presence here. The first case we're going to call is Lowndes County case VAR 2015-09, Richard Hill and Associates, on behalf of Sunny Land DBA Glory Hill Cowboy Church. Carmella, you have the show. We'll get a quick show. Okay. Good afternoon. Our first case is a request by the Glory Hill Cowboy Church. The church is proposing an addition to their existing church facility and <coughs> open air pavilion. So the property consists of about five acres and is on R21, the residential zoning district. In this case, the applicants are requesting a variance to the minimum setback requirements. Being that this property is situated on the corner lot, um, corner lots are sometimes makes it difficult when you have a major thoroughfare as your primary and a local road as your secondary. The code requires us to take 80% of the required primary setback and apply it to the secondary. Sometimes that can be an awful lot of setback um, that is taken up. In this case, applicant is proposing a variant um, as they want to get a little closer to the property line. Um, since the preparation of the staff report, the applicants have amended their request um, to go from a 72 um, requirement to a 30-foot setback requirement. Um, that was staff recommendation. Um, initially, when we prepared the staff report, we supported um, a 30-foot setback, and the applicant's design professional um, submitted a revised site plan to show just that. So with that, staff is recommending approval um, to, the, to the request. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Any questions, anything for Carmela at this time? Okay, is there anyone here, Ms. Bland? 
Would you like to give us any additional information? You do not have to. I think Ms. Bradwell presented it pretty clearly. Okay. Is there anyone here in opposition to this request? Is there anyone here has questions about what's being requested? Was there any response to your office that we need to discuss? Okay. I think it's pretty clear cut. Unless somebody on the board has questions or comments at this time. Can we entertain a motion on this request? I make a motion to approve the variance request as, as uh, set out by as presented. As presented by the by the recommendals. Uh, I have a motion on the floor to grant the request as presented with the 30-foot setback. Second? Second. I have a second from Mr. McCall. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, good luck with it. Hope everything works out like you want. Yes, sir. Can I have a criteria, like criteria D or something like that? No, not on the land of county. What? Yeah, I'm there. Criteria D. Okay. Do I hear a second? Thank you. Okay. Thank you for coming. Okay, next case is VAR 2015-08, Mark Holt, Fairway Outdoor, on behalf of Massimo Castelli, 4143 North Valdosta Road, Valdosta. Yes, sir. Our last request today is a variance request by Fairway Outdoor Advertising. They are proposing to modify an existing off-premise sign or off -premise <coughs> sign. This sign has been at this location for a number, a number of years and is considered legal but non-conforming. The non-conformity lies in that it doesn't meet our current requirements um, regarding height, distance between signs, and size. Um, in this case, the applicant is proposing to take that sign, which is about 720 square feet. It's a double stack sign and they're proposing to replace it with a single face um, of about 378 square feet. Overall, about a 50% reduction in the size. It's going to be a digital sign. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I do have some photos that give an idea of what the sign is going to be. <coughs> The overall idea is to rid all nonconformities, but we do know there are certain instances that, you know, that's not impossible, but um, as long as they're lessening the nonconformity, it's something we can support. So with that, staff is recommending approval to this variance request. Is, is it digital on both sides? We will be digital on both sides, I do believe. It's a staff <coughs> sign now. And, and that sign that currently has advertising for mom and dad's on it, who owns that sign? Um, the property owners. So there's really two billboards on that, plus their little sign that says mom and dad's. They have three signs on that property. They have three signs. All are not conforming. Busy little piece of property. <laughs> the proposed sign, I'm not sure if it's going to advertise mom and dad's. I guess it can, but um, I, I, I'm not sure. The applicants here answer that. But all the signs that are there are pre ULDC and they were all grandfathered in as non conforming legal signs. Yes, sir. And technically, it is considered two frontages because they have road frontage on two roads. That's correct. So theoretically, they could have two signs on premise, mm -hmm. which would not which affect they, which they do. the attitude, which they do. But that also, I don't think, affects the fact that there's a billboard on it, does it? No, the property does, um, I should say, does qualify. You can have a billboard on your property if you can qualify for one, and have a commercial if you meet the distance from any other off-site sign. The difference between this sign and the other signs is that this is an all credit sign. It advertises things that are elsewhere on the property. And the 
and the, the lighting on this, this will be lit at night. Will it be beaming? You know, when they built that uh, McDonald's out there, people were complaining about the light and the noise. Now I know that it'll be silent, except for, does it hum? Does it make a noise? Uh, and will it be dimmer at night? Yeah, we'll we'll okay. begin up the podium on the left on just a second. All right. Any other questions for Carmel at this time? Thank you, Carmel. Is there anyone here? Now it's your chance to come up and answer questions and get grilled. And <laughs> uh, yes, Far Hope is uh, Fairway Outdoor 369 Enterprise Drive. Okay. Now your question. Can we answer one? <laughs> the, the sign will dim every night. We have other vigils, uh, you know, over at Roosters and, and other areas. And yes, the signs automatically dim down to probably half of what you see in the day, just because of the, the brightness of it. And, and the sign that's there now is that lit at night? Does it have a spotlight on it? It, it does. The sign that is there now. The, the double face has has uh, lights on it, and I don't know if y'all remember or not, but the sign that's actually facing to the west was a multi-message tri-vision double stack, you know, uh, tri-vision. And so what we're proposing is to take all of that down and just put a a much smaller sign there, but put it in the corner of the digital back to back. Going so perhaps have a time to other businesses, three or four or five businesses, as many as the program will allow. Right? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Any other questions? Any other discussions? I had a question for Carmel. Uh, isn't there a limit of eight billboards digital in, in the county based on the distance? The city has that. The city has the county it. does not. Okay, well, thank you very much for clearing the thought. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or discussion? I, I have another question. Um, when you come down North Valasso Road, one of our gateway entries, uh, there is billboard, billboard, where this is sort of one going to be one of the first-ish ones. You come off the interstate and you come past the gas station. and, mm -hmm. and um, it's non-conforming because it's too close to other billboards? It's too close. It's too close to the one that's on Mom and Dad's. No, no, no Mom and Dad's is, is not a billboard. It's that big old sign it's above a, Mom and Dad's is not? It's an on-site sign. And that's the difference between city okay. regulations of uh, billboards. And all right, so I just want to know, how far is it from its closest billboard neighbor? Uh, it's probably about 400 feet. There's one just to the, uh, uh, I guess you would say east, about 400 feet. Um, you look hard, you might barely see it in that upper right picture yeah. right there. But it's, it's a little white in the upper right. Yeah, they're, they're here and here and here. There's all good. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's pretty busy. It's, it's, it's a good thing. But I know why people want to advertise on that road because lots of people thrive on it. I mean, oh, yeah. Okay. Any other? Oh, be on moving. It's going great. Any other Move questions? The county. Any other? <coughs> City boy. Move the county. Being no further questions, is there anyone else here that has information they would like to bring before us? Is anyone here in opposition to this request? Is anyone here has questions about what is being requested? Was there any contact to your office on this case, Carmel? There was one call from a resident, um, but it's more of an inquiry. Okay. Any other discussion before I call the question? Can I get a motion on this request? I make a motion to accept the variance request presented by Carmelo. I have a motion on the floor from the board to accept the request as presented by staff 
defining criteria. D. D is the most common. Mm -hmm. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second from Mr. Alvarado. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, good luck with it. Please make it look good. Okay. Uh, before we move on, I know that John was introduced around. I appreciate you. These gray hairs right here, folks. <laughs> Mr. Hogan, I apologize. Oh, that's Please all right. make sure the minutes reflect the proper motion. Uh, we appreciate you agreeing to serve with us. Uh, welcome to the board. I appreciate it. I'm happy to be here. We have approval of the minutes for the May meeting. Anybody have any adjustments, corrections? Can I get a motion to accept the minutes as presented? I have a motion from Ms. Porterman to accept the minutes as presented. Do I get a second? Second. Second from Dr. Housel. All in favor, raise a hand. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Uh, any other new business, old business we need to discuss in any way? I got a question. When is the July meeting? The July meeting. The July meeting is going to be, yeah, it's the week after the 4th. July meeting will be July the 7th. Yeah. Okay, so we got two that are going to ask for excused absences. Uh, that still should leave us a quorum as long as everybody else gets here. And we have to have a piece Do we have anything on the agenda? Why don't we just cancel it? Continue it. Actually, that all kind of falls in the county court. Our deadline has already passed, and the city has no no city case. What you got? Our cut off is Friday. If you don't have anything on Friday. Why not just continue? Do Do we have anything now? Um, no. No. So we got um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three days for them. Somebody to slide in here. I'll be out the week of the 12th, so. Well, but if we just put off and said we're not going to have a meeting, then we'll just have it in August. I make a motion that we uh, cancel the, continue the July meeting until August. Do we have the power in it? I don't think we can do that. <laughs> we don't have the power? I don't, I don't think it's in the bylaws. Or I can just let Chairman know on Friday what the result is. You can email him. Well, but the thing is, if any one of the remaining of us doesn't show sure, it's here, it's still for anybody. Well, it's a train. It's a train. Okay. Eight of us on the board, and all of them just five. Okay. Or you can move it to the second. You know, I just have somebody. I thought the 7th was the second. It's the first Tuesday is the second week. Yeah, the 7th is it's, it's, the first it's actually in the second week of the month. It's just the first Tuesday fall because the first fall on Wednesday. Okay. 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 Okay, any other new business, old business, anything we need to discuss? Ladies and gentlemen, we stand adjourned. Thank you very much for your participation and your attendance. Right. <laughs> 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 Dodge and alligator, Brendan Swan.